Haida Gwaii is an archipelago approximately 30 to 40 miles off the northern Pacific coast of Canada. In the last episode, I made my way to Haida Gwaii to spend a weekend at a music festival. With the festival now complete, I decided to hang around and explore the forests and mountains. I cached my bike deep into the woods so I could go for a hike up to the Sleeping Beauty trails. So I've made it to the top of the Sleeping Beauty on this little ridge line. This is why I love tre hiking, trekking. You can't get to these places by bicycle. You can only walk to these, so it's good to mix it up. That is the Sleeping Beauty complete. That was a cheeky little climb with my backpack and drone and everything else. Feel good to use my legs in a different way. So this is where the road I've got to go up. These are the old logging roads. Pretty rough, but compared to like Cambodia, it's a reet. I made friends with a woman called Sarah at the Haida Gwaii Music Festival, and she invited me to stay with her for a few days. Having a roof over my head for a few days was very much appreciated, and as was cooking some amazing food. After spending months alone through Alaska and Canada, spending time with Sarah was the change of pace I just needed. However, I could feel myself getting far too comfortable. So I booked my ferry ticket to Vancouver Island to continue my journey south. Here's a recap of my route so far. I've made my way from the top of Alaska through to Canada to the point in which I hitched a ride, which is the yellow line, as I went to Prince Rupert and then took a ferry to Haida Gwaii and then back onto the mainland and then took a ferry down the inside passage to Vancouver Island. All right, let's resume the show. The vehicles have prepared to disembark. Please do not start your engines until directed. Customers... I'm on the inside passage making my way from Prince Rupert down to Port Hardy. Pretty beautiful, pretty windy there. I've just made a massive error. I've decided to fly my drone that way. I <laughs> couldn't keep up with the ferry, what an idiot. However, I didn't land it in the water. There's a little boat just over here. I landed it on that boat. So I might get it back, I might not. It's got my email address on the drone. Hopefully I've not damaged this boat, otherwise I'll be getting a bill. Ah. What do you think, Jim? Got it on the boat. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I'm so good. I'm so annoyed with myself. This is the type of stupid stuff I do. Yeah. Uh, you got to take a chance, man. You got to take a <laughs> chance. If you got it back, it's going to be a great video. Uh, yeah, so that's that. No more drone shots. Farewell, drone number two. <laughs> God number sake. three coming up. Right? <laughs> These are the only photos that I managed to recover from the DJI app on my phone. 
As you can see, it takes off and the ferry gets further and further away. <laughs> I am such an idiot. So right now, I'm reeling in self-pity. Gutted, absolutely gutted. No one else to blame other than myself. Oh. It's gone, so be it. <laughs> Everyone else thinks it's quite funny. <laughs> funny, not funny. Good morning. Day one on Vancouver Island, and I'm not alone. We're Jim. How are you doing today? I'm good. Last day. <laughs> Jim's uh, easily finished his bike tour. Where's your bike tour taking you? Flew up to Anchorage and started there and rode to Fairbanks and Dawson City and then headed back down to Washington State. So, and this is it, end of the road. End of the road. I'm going to cheat a little bit, take a, <laughs> take a rental car across Vancouver Island and then get picked up. So I spent most of yesterday with Jim sharing stories and we, uh, Jim's been touring since 2012 in between uh, the occasional stop here and there, which has been, uh, it's been really good to listen to. And it's, uh, it's really given me like an appreciation of all the different ways that you can travel by bike and it's not about just go 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 like I think I was maybe two three weeks ago I think after taking that hitchhike ride and then meeting Jim I'm like that's where I am that's where I want to be is uh, yeah so thank you for that sure no problem so like showing me I'll be back on the road <laughs> <laughs> yeah I've got no plans of stopping just yet but uh, I will have to soon if I keep flying drones or ferries <laughs> yeah <laughs> Jim was there for that as well when I threw the drone off the ferry. That was yep. absolutely ridiculous. What, what are your thoughts to the missing drone? What? <laughs> oh, I loved it. <laughs> well, I hate it because you lost your drone, but it was kind of amazing the way it took off and definitely a learning experience. Still hope. I think so. It, to cut it short, I don't know if I got it all on camera yesterday, but basically hovered the drone at the back of the ferry and it was struggling a bit. I thought, oh, I'll be okay, I'll just push it out. Before I know it, the drone is gone because the ferry's going so quick. I thought the drone would be able to catch up with it, but it didn't. But I managed, I think, to land it on a little private boat. So we'll see if I get it back. Where did the name of the bike come from? Insane Jane, I, that was a nickname of a friend of mine that I uh, got reacquainted with years ago and she, at 48, just went to sleep one night and died, you know, passed, oh no. passed away. And Sorry to hear that. Yeah, so I just kind of wanted to take her with me to the ride. That's so on this trip, we made it to the top of the world. So what can I say? That's really good. <laughs> so it's just that uh, we just had a bit of a drama. Jim, 3K into the day, puncture time, which is horrendous. So he's fixing it up. And then Lyle just popped up out of nowhere as like a little guardian angel and was like, Trying to help us out, um, the plan right now, we're only 5k away from the rental place um, where Jim's about to get a car, so he's, uh, he's offered to give us a lift up there. Thank you, Lo. You bet. Jim's getting punished by the bike touring gods. <laughs> the weird thing is, this is crazy, this is, never happens. Lyle knew who I was before I, uh, he's like, is your name Adam? <laughs> How, how did you find me? Because uh, I seen the last video or the the one from Haida Gwaii. Yeah. And then okay, uh, you yeah. were in. Also on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, well, not right. on Instagram, on YouTube. Right. Oh, the live stream. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, I forget I do them sometimes. That's crazy. That's, yeah. That, that is crazy. That's totally. Well, the crazy. live streams. Not many people watch them as well. No. So, like I think about 800 people saw yeah, the last yeah. one. So of 800 people in the world. In the world, I see you. you. Saw it. <laughs> Jeez, that looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. So I've decided that I'm going to join Jim and I'm going to join him in this hire car as we drive down Vancouver Island. No more bike touring for Vancouver Island. You've had a bit of a nightmare this morning. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, yeah, I'm pretty ready to get my bike fixed up as well. My back wheel, them spokes have broken. It's not really an excuse. I probably could get down through Vancouver Island either way, but it's going to be quite nice just to go in a vehicle for a change. 
Yeah, I feel like the journey has taken a little bit of a change with the, the fact that I hitchhiked to that music festival. Before, I was dead set on cycling every single inch of the way of making sure I get all the way down to Argentina without taking any lifts or anything. Now I've taken one lift. I won't say my motivation has waned, what I will say is my focus and the idea of this journey has changed. I'm travelling, the bike is a means to travel. My budget is the limitation and if I can travel for free, still, I'll take opportunities. But I also enjoy the cycling itself. So I'm going to get to Vancouver, get my bike in a good shape, then we're ready to go, make it back on the road again. This feels like a very civilised way to travel. Okay, okay. Where, where are the brakes? So that's farewell to Jim. Just uh, got to uh, Nanaimo. This is, a, this is where I'm going to get the ferry to Vancouver. Really excited actually to get across over back to mainland Canada. Stop my ferry hopping. <laughs> but yeah, time to get back on the bike. When I get across, I've got 30 kilometers to go from Horseshoe Bay down to Vancouver. Hopefully, I'm staying with some people I met at the Edge of the World Festival. Hopefully, that'll work out. There's also a good mate of mine staying in Vancouver right now from England so if I get to see him awesome <laughs>